subscribe dr sadik mathematics channel for getting more online videos d square minus 1 of y that is equal to x sin x d square minus 4 of y that is equal to x sin lambda x how to solve such type of differential equations today we discuss concept and problems on x power m into v my friends concept and problems on x power m into v we also hear function of x let us see first concept friends this is type 5 or 6 f of x that is equal to x power m into v of x where m is positive integer and v is function of x v is function of x to find particular integral of f of d of y x power m here v is friends here v is sin a x or cos a x friends okay v of x is here sin a x or cos a x then particular integral 1 by f of d 1 by f of d f of x that is equal to 1 by f of d x power m sin a x if there is a sin a x friends then it can be written as imaginary part of 1 by f of d into x power m into e power i a x this sin a x can be written as friends imaginary part of imaginary part of e power i a x e power i x because we know we know we know e power i theta friends e power i theta what is formula cos theta plus i i sin theta okay friends we know e power i theta that is equal cos theta plus i sin theta we know cos theta is real part and sin theta is imaginary part now we have here we have sin x so sin x is imaginary part friends so that is why we write here imaginary part of 1 by f of d into x power m into e power e power i a x this can be written as imaginary part of e power i a x similarly if there is a cos a x friends cos a x then it can be written as friends it can be written as simply simply real part of friends real part of 1 by f of d x power m e power i a x okay friends if there is a cos a x it can be written as real part of 1 by f of d x power m e power i a x once again friends if there is a sin a x x power m or sin a x then imaginary part of you simply write here e power i a x okay if there is a cos a x as a real part of e power i a x friends because we can write this basic by using this formula friends now proceed as in type 4 okay friends now it is like e power a x into v friends e power a x into v so this is type 4 friends this is type 4 and collect a real I mean, imaginary part at the end we get the required solution okay finally you write uh, if there is if it is a imaginary part you write imaginary part if it is real part you write real part and second friends you first write like this and then apply type 4 find particular integral finally you write if it is a imaginary part if it is imaginary part finally you write only imaginary part if it is a real part you write only real part friends only real part that is then the, uh, we get the required the required particular integral friends then we get the required particular integral okay friends let us see one problem friends solve the differential equation d power 
d square minus 1 d square minus 1 of y that is equal to x sin x. This one also previous year question friends. This one also very very important. Now if I observe here it is like x sin x friends x sin x. So this is case 6. Okay friends case 6. Let us see the solution friends. What's the problem? Okay friends. What is complete solution? Complete solution that is equal to complementary function plus particular integral what friends complementary function plus particular integral next subheading is complementary function it is already in symbolic form friends so you write auxiliary equation what is auxiliary equation y coefficient that is equal to 0 so d square minus 1 that is equal to 0 so, d square is equal to 1 that implies d is equal to plus or minus 1, d is equal to plus or minus 1. So, complementary function c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x friends, c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x. Now, we have x sin x friends. So, you write here particular integral, particular integral. 1 by d square minus 1 x sin x. We have x sin x friends here. Whenever it is a sin x, sin x, you can write a, write it as imaginary part friends. So, you write here that is equal to imaginary part of imaginary part of 1 by d square minus 1 into x into e power i here we have only x friends sin x so i x because we know e power i theta that is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta okay so imaginary part is imaginary part is sin x friends so e power i x now it is case 4 friends case 4 whenever it is case 4 first you write e power i a x e power i a x left hand side ok then replace d by d plus i friends right on imaginary part of that is equal to imaginary part of e power i x into 1 by d plus i whole square minus ok e power i x e power i x and d plus i whole square minus 1 into x minus 1 into x friends. This is case 4 friends. I already discussed case 4 friends. You can watch that video. You got clarity there. Okay friends. Now that is equal to that is equal to imaginary part of e power i x part of e power i x 1 by you expand friends, you expand, we get here a plus b whole square, d square plus i square, i square plus 2 i d, d minus 1 into x, into x. So, that is equal to imaginary part of e power i x, i x, i square means we get minus 1, so minus 1 minus 1 minus 2, so 1 by d square plus 2 i d minus 2 into x. So, this is case 4 friends. You apply binomial expansion here. What is binomial expansion? Either it is 1 minus x whole power minus 1 or 1 plus x whole power minus 1. So, I want to take in common minus 2 friends here. Minus 2. So, that is equal to imaginary part of e power i x so, take of minus 2, we get here minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, then we get here 1 minus of d square plus 2i d by 2. I want to take in the numerator friends so that we get here whole power minus 1 into x, into x. So, it is like 1 minus x whole power minus 1. So, it is like 1 minus x whole power minus x. 
what is expansion trends 1 plus x plus x square plus and so on and so on because we have x here because we have x it is enough right the second up to second term friends up to second term so that is equal to imaginary part of minus e power i x by 2 2 into 1 plus d square plus 2 i d by 2 if I write next term okay, friends, if I write a next term here we get the values are 0 so it is enough to write here friends into x that is equal to imaginary part of minus e power i x by 2 multiply with x friends so 1 into x x plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into d square x means d square by dx square of x value is 0 friends it is 0 so this value is 0 into into 2 i derivative of x is 1 friends derivative of x is 1 so 2 to cancel here 2 to cancel so that is equal to minus 1 by 2 right here minus 1 by 2 imaginary part of this e power i x can be written as friends cos x plus i sin x cos x plus i sin x into into x plus i x plus i that is equal to minus 1 by Uh, in the right, I want to write in the next line, friends. I want to write in the next line. So, minus 1 by 2, minus uh, that is equal to minus 1 by 2. Imaginary part, friends. That means if I multiply cos x here, I get cos x here, friends. So, it is, this is imaginary part. So, cos x. cos x okay if i multiply cos x here we get x cos x it is not imaginary part friends please remember it is not imaginary part plus i here i have imaginary part friends x in sin x into x so plus plus x into sin x x into sin x now if i multiply with i into i we get minus 1 so it is real part friends it is real part so what is particular integral here this is sine so what is particular integral here minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos x plus x sin x x sin sin so what is complete solution y that is equal to y that is equal to what is complement of c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x so c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x plus particular integral is minus 1 by 2 so it is plus friends so it is minus not plus minus 1 by 2 cos x plus x sin x which is the required solution of given problem friends once again here we have x sin x friends x sin x so it is case 6 or type 6 so what is complete solution always complementary function plus particular integral simply you write here it is a symbolic form so you write here auxiliary equation we get roots here now we have i observe sine x friends so you write imaginary part of now it will becomes here type 4 friends type 4 in type 4 
you write e power x left hand side of 1 by f of d friends then you replace d by d plus i okay we have d square here so d plus i whole square you expand it now if i observe here it is a case 3 friends case 3 in case 3 uh, it is right like uh, 1 minus x whole power minus 1 or 1 plus x whole power minus 1 so taking on minus 1 by 2 then you get it is like 1 minus x whole power minus 1 we can expand it and then operate on x we can finally you write imaginary part of this term friends imaginary part of this term so imaginary part of the term is we get a minus 1 by 2 cos x plus x sin x add complementary function particular integral then we get the required solution of given problem if you have any doubt in the problem please comment in the comment box other than this problem if you have any doubt in this topic or you need any problem please comment in the comment box hope you understand thank you thank you for watching this video jai hind